What's the challenge Chaz? JHPH Games here and welcome to a channel update for the channel. We haven't had one in a good long while. It's about time I did it. Uh, it's because things have been changing and you've I've just been mulling, I've just been making things change and not telling you that things have been changing. But yeah, things have been changing. So I might as well just tell you about the things that have changed and how they work now and what the plans are for the future uh, because it is summertime summertime is where people go hard on youtube and i am also going hard on youtube and um, but then again i don't have like things like a job and stuff like that so it's easy for me to go hard on youtube i just hope it's easy enough for you to go hard on youtube and watch my stuff anyway so getting into stuff we are doing the pokemon uh, Galactic Lock, the Pokemon Platinum Galactic Lock, and it's going really, really well. We just passed the SIP Gym. We're on our way to the seventh. Your guys are really enjoying that series because we hit the like goals like two or three times now, which has allowed us to result in hour long episodes. And I would like to keep this uh, like goal initiative going because I feel like it's a good way to show engagement to the channel, and it's something we haven't had on the channel for a while now. And I like the fact that it's coming back. Engagement is coming back, and that is good for for our channel. Because I thought it was slowly dying away, which is not cool. So I'm glad it's starting to come back. I'm glad the Night Gold Initiative is working. I'm glad ever you're enjoying the Galactic Lock, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the series that are to come. Because my next LP is planned. It's in the works. I've got the GFX ready for it and everything cannot wait for it you probably already know what it is but it's going to be a fire red omega egglock when in uh, when there is time for it and it probably will start maybe towards the back end of july maybe august probably that's probably when it will start and then we'll after that's done we'll start making our prep for ultra sun ultra moon and the uh gold and silver on the virtual consoles yeah that's what we'll do. We'll start making our prep towards uh, those games because I might do something with gold and silver on the virtual consoles. I'm definitely playing Ultra. I'm definitely playing uh, Ultra Moon. I will be doing an Ultra Moon Nuzlocke day one on the channel. I planned a Moon Nuzlocke. Uh, I, when I was playing through Sun and Moon originally, I was going to do a Sun Live Wonderlock, a Sun Let's Play, and a Moon Nuzlocke. I did a bit too much Sun and Moon, I will admit this, so I sort of cancelled, after a while, I sort of cancelled my Sun Wonderlock and my Moon, uh, after about three episodes, I cancelled my, uh, let's play, uh, Nuzlocke and Moon. But with Ultra Moon coming out, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I'm going to get back into Sun and Moon, and I'm going to, instead of giving you a Day 1 Let's Play, I'm going to give you a Day 1 Nuzlocke, and... It'll be a hell of a lot more fun for me. So we're going to be nose locking in this day one, and it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait. There's because there's not too much change in the story as far as I'm concerned at this moment in time. We don't know that it's in the same region, so I don't know. And the game's pretty much complete, so I don't really know what they can do. They say it's a retelling, an alternative story. It's set in that region, but I'm not exactly sure what that means yet. It's too early to tell what that means. But I do, I will say I'm doing a day one Nuzlocke. So that's coming. Also, side series. We just finished Zeta. Zeta was amazing. And thank you so much for the support on Zeta. It was a very, very amazing series. And probably the longest series that I'm ever going to have on the channel. 85 episodes. By the way, Sun and Moon was about 79 if you count all the uh, championship episodes as episodes in their own rights, which I didn't, because they weren't really. But, like, if you did count them, it was about 79. So, yeah. Uh, 85 episodes is a hell of a lot. And I hope I never make a series that long ever again. But it was a fun series. The Randomized Bravery run is something we'll have to look at again. Uh, in the future times and I would not mind doing it again it was a great series I really enjoyed it and we are now starting up Pokemon Coliseum so based upon the sec season 2 of Zeta there were Shadow Pokemon and Shadow Pokemon are akin to Pokemon Coliseum where Shadow Pokemon were invented 
So, yeah. Now we're playing through Pokemon Coliseum, which makes it rather interesting that we're playing through Pokemon Coliseum because, you know, we just done a game about Shadow Pokemon. Now we're doing another game about Shadow Pokemon. So, why not, eh? It's going to be even more, it's going to be awesome. Cannot wait uh, to continue doing that series. And with that series, I'm actually recording it using an actual, uh, an actual CD, an actual console, and an actual capture card. So it's really interesting to not use emulate because uh, I've seen so many people do uh, Coliseum Let's Plays on actual emulate on emulators and stuff like that. And it doesn't look good. The dolphin em the dolphin emulator does not look good, and I'm glad that I'm doing this on an actual console. So I'm happy that LP is going to do well for you guys, and I feel like you guys are going to enjoy that LP. But I'm enjoying that LP. I'm only three episodes in at this moment in time. I need to record some more. I will probably when we'll end up doing that later on this week. But it's a hell of a lot of fun to record that series, so cannot wait to record more. And we also have started up with uh, our League Battle. We've been doing the WSS, the League ba uh, the World Showdown series. That's been going rather well. It's a bit iffy since uh, people have been up and leaving, and uh, uh, I've been hard it's been hard to try and get a hold of people for battle sometimes, and it just happens like that sometimes. So I will try and finish off that series. I would like to come back for Season 3. If there is a Season 3 of the WSS, I know there's talk, but I don't know if there's actual going to be one. But um, I would like to come back if there is one. That's what I'm saying, because this has been a great experience for me. It's been a learning curve, and I'm learning a lot about battling. I feel like I'm getting a hell of a lot better now. I'm still getting a lot of hacks out if you've been watching my IBL battles, but... I'm getting better. I'm getting better. It's a long process, and I'll get there eventually. As also, we have the IBL battles. I'm glad the Indigo Battle League is back. So me and my friends recording that series, and it's so good to have them on the channel again. I cannot wait to have more of those battles, and again, learn a bit more about battling and get better eventually. I will win a, a draft league eventually, probably, hopefully, maybe. But I need to get a hell of a lot better at battling first. And that's what I'm doing. And that's how I'm enjoying it. I'm really happy that I'm enjoying it. And you guys are enjoying it too. There may be some people who said, uh, get good and stuff like that. But like, it's just Pokemon at the end of the day. I need to remember that uh, when I'm playing through my battles. Because I don't remember that in the heat of moments. It's hard to remember that in the heat of the moments. Anyway. Yeah, so that's a thing. Then we also have the MLPB, the Major League Impact Battle Battling in Pokemon. And it's been rather fun to record that series. We're about two or three weeks in. Uh, we're, about, we're about to start set week two. I have recorded week, my week two match. And I'm very um, iffy about my pulls that I got for that week two match. I'm not going to say anything. I'm iffy about my pulls. That's all, all I'm saying. And... Uh, my bad luck seems to uh, to leak into anything I do these days, and it's annoying. And I'd prefer if it didn't. Maybe it's because I haven't made a channel update video, and I said I'd make one, you know, by quarterly. I said I'd make one, and I didn't do it. So, yeah, maybe that's the reason why that has happened. We'll honestly see. Anyway, so those are the things that are happening on the channel at this moment in time. And, of course, the next series that will happen on the channel is the Fire Red Omega Egglock. And then we'll start making our prep for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon streaming. Uh, at this moment in time, streaming does not happen. I used to do some streaming with the Sunwife Lundlock, and I don't do it anymore at this moment in time. But after the IBL's finished, and after all my other projects are finished, the MILPB, uh, the MLPB and uh, the WSS and all this other stuff... I might have some free time on my hands whilst I'm waiting for the next season of the WSS or any other leagues that I want to join to start up. I might have some free time on my hands. With this in mind, I might be starting a showdown series in September uh, with the route. I don't know exactly what the uh, things are going to be, uh, how that series is going to work. So there may be some interesting times. So. That series will probably go up on Sundays. Uh, from time to time, we may stream. From time to time, we might not stream. But basically, I might. Uh, we might have pick a random tier, but right? we use a random 
tier we'll use a random generator to pick a tier that we fight in then we build a team and then we fight in that tier that seems probably like a good idea for a stream and see what happens because it allows us to be creative which Darude likes uh, in battling and it allows me to learn a hell of a lot more about certain Pokemon in certain tiers and how they work and that will help me uh, with my own dra uh, with my draft league work so yeah that seems like a good idea but i haven't fully discussed this with the rude yet so we'll honestly see what happens with that so cannot wait for that series if it does happen so yeah sunday night showdowns with me and the rude sounds like a good idea anyway that is and also uh, when it comes to streaming i was thinking about uh, possibly making the friday episode a streamed episode of uh, our playthroughs in September as well. You know what? Uh, you know if we're playing through a game and uh, we hit the light goal, we stream the episode. We go, uh, we go to a minimum of an hour, maximum of two hours, but we do it live at the time instead of recording it, instead of a pre-recorded episode that you get that's an hour in length. Just an idea. Not really sure if you're into it, but it's an idea. Okay, so those are the things that are going on on the main channel. Now I want to talk about VidMe. VidMe gets everything that Jewish PH Games gets and a little bit more as well because I need to talk about Jewish PH Games too and I will do that in a minute. VidMe is amazing. VidMe is linked in the description below. If you want to go and check out my VidMe, you can do. And I really enjoyed working on VidMe. It's been really fun. I'm going to keep going with VidMe for ever really because it's a good series it's a good channel and i really like it and it's sort of youtube in its heyday and i like that it's a it's a small developing company they will get better they have some iffy things about them as far as i'm as far as other people have said i haven't experienced any of those by the way i really like vidme but you know it's a process that i will get used to and all my videos go up on vidme some of my videos only go up here you know some of my videos go up here all of my videos go up on vidme and on that note Jewish ph games 2 is back it is back and i'm really enjoying playing over there with Jewish ph games 2. uh at this moment in time i have the nascar 07 lp but it's not really an lp it's just basically me playing uh, me playing a little bit of nascar 07 it's not there's not really too much story there so it's really hard to say it's an lp so if that goes off the channel, it's easy for me to just take it off the channel really easily. But I do want to do some more Let's Play. I do want to do Let's Plays over there. I have some ideas for Let's Plays over there. I want to play Legend of Zelda. I want to play uh, Link to the Past over there. That would be really cool if I could play Link to the Past over there. Because I have a copy on my Wii. I have a copy on my Wii, I think. So I might be able to play that. Or oh, I can download an emulated copy of that game too. I can get hold of copies of that game. So I wouldn't mind playing A Link to the Past. I have A Link Between Worlds, which is a series I want to play. But since it's a sequel, I can't really play it because the fact is I need to play A Link to the Past first because you won't understand the story behind Link to Between Worlds if I don't. So I need to play that. Then we have... Um, so that's one thing I'm planning. Then there's, of course... Uh, my Xbox One that I want to use for some series on Joe's PH Games 2. I was watching the Xbox E3 address last night. I was watching the, e, uh, the EA E3 address as well. And they were amazing. There's a lot of good games coming out for them. A uh, super, super Lucky Tales was one of the games that's coming out later on in the year. I wouldn't mind playing on this channel because that looks amazing. Go and look that up online. Super Lucky Tales. Uh... Also, Life is Strange has got a second uh, incoming of it, and I really want to play that too. It's got a prequel. There's a prequel, and there's also talk about a sequel too. So whenever that sequel comes, that'll be amazing. But, you know, Life is Strange was a really enjoyable game for me, and I want to play it uh, again uh, now that we know there's a prequel coming. So I might play it again. So what I would like to do is I'd like to bring back Life is Strange, start again from the very beginning, get rid of all the old episodes on both Joe's Beach Games and Joe's Beach Games 2, start again from the very beginning, 
and then go straight into the prequel once we're done with Life is Strange. By the time we're done with Life is Strange uh, 1, uh, the Life is Strange prequel will be out. So that means we can just go straight into it. Episodes 1, 2, and 3 will be anyway. So we can just go straight into it without too much, uh, without even a break. So that'd be really cool. And then we can enjoy the Life is Strange prequel as well. So that is the plan for Life is Strange. And also I'm planning other things too. Like I'd like to do, I'd like to guess whole, uh, because like I was watching E3, um, I was watching the E, I was watching the E3 address for EA. And I, I saw that gate, uh, Madden 18 has a uh, storyline called Longshot. And I'd like to play it for you guys because that looks like an interesting series and it looks like a good storyline. So I love sports games with storylines and the long shot seems like a good idea. I love the journey from uh, that was on FIFA 17 and it seems to be keeping going on eight, FIFA 18 as well. So if you like it and if you want to see it, I would definitely not mind doing a journey playthrough as well because I need to pick up... I want to pick up FIFA 17 now. It's really, really cheap because it's towards the end of the season. And I might pick up FIFA 18 when the new season starts and play that for you guys too. So I would like to do, I would like to play the journey. And if we do play the journey, I want to take Alex Hunter to Everton and prove to the world that Everton is amazing. And Alex Hunter is also amazing. And the two will come together and make an awesome awesome team so Alex Hunter and Everton in a journey playthrough on JSPH Games 2 look forward to it it's going to happen I need to get uh, and I'll try and do it over the next few weeks so that could happen too so there's a lot of things happening with JSPH Games 2 my summer my summer is quite busy but I have ideas of what I'd like to do so I'm very very happy but I'm getting things done and I'm going to go hard on Joe's PH Games, Joe's PH Games 2, and Joe's PH Games on Vidme. And Vidme gets everything that Joe's PH Games has and Joe's PH Games 2 has. So that's really cool as well. There are some archive stuff on uh, Joe's PH Games uh, that I don't know if I'll be transferring over to uh, Joe's PH Games on Vidme. It might take me a long time to, to transfer them all over. And I. I might want to shed some light on some very old series that you guys think I'm uh, that you guys may have forgotten about, like for example the Pearl Egglock, the um, the Kyrax Challenge of uh, Red and Blue Rescue Team, the Leaf Green Let's Play, the Emerald uh, the Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke, uh, the Emerald Men not Nuzlocke Metroid Run, the Emerald Randomized Metroid Run. Those are things I might bring over to VidMe in the next few uh, months and see and shed some light on those old series. Because they were a lot of fun, and I want to show you that I want to show my new people that may have come across my channel uh, from VidMe those things too, because those were classic JPH games and they were very fun. So that is all the things I want to talk about uh, for you guys as it comes to. Uh, our channel so thank you very much for enjoying this if you did enjoy this you can go ahead and leave a like comment and subscribe if you're on youtube if you're on vidme you can go ahead and leave an upvote so you can follow the channel and of course you can leave a comment over there as well but really who enjoys update videos not many people hopefully i've been able to shed some light on what is coming over the next few months and i hope you enjoy the content that is coming and i can't wait to give it you guys as we are starting the road to four years on youtube and of course almost a year on vidme so that's awesome and until next time i'm josh ph games and i am out see you again